we have been told that people are being put um, in quarantine and then left like in a solitary cell um, with no medical care. They're just put in there. They, they haven't been showered in four or five days. Um, if they have COVID, they're, they're left to defend for themselves. On Thursday, April 10th, Reporters from Boston Liberation News attended a car rally that drove from Massachusetts Correctional Institution Framingham to South Bay Correctional Facility. The demonstrators drove laps around each facility, honking and displaying signs to show support and solidarity to the women locked up in this time of crisis. The women in these two facilities are in a dire situation. With almost no way to contact their family members, both the women and their families are left with little to no information about each other's well being. Additionally, these institutions are ticking time bombs for COVID 19. Once introduced in the facilities, the overcrowding, desperately poor medical facilities, and inhumane conditions create a deadly combination. Liberation News spoke to Ramilda, a formerly incarcerated woman and the lead organizer of the Free Her Car Rally. So today our action was just to show solidarity to the women that are inside and uh, letting them know that we haven't forgotten about them and that we are here fighting for them um, to be released during COVID-19. Um, they, have, they have been releasing people, but they've released all men. Um, no women from Massachusetts have been released, and it's just fighting for their rights and to have women come home. Free her, free all our sisters, let our sisters go. Free her, free her, free her, keep on, let the sisters hear you. We're here complaining about not being able to come outside for, you know, going to a bar or a club or something. People are actually locked in their cells for 23 hours a day um, where they don't have television or don't have certain necessities and things like that. And just putting people in cages is not the answer. Liberation News also interviewed Leslie Creedle, a Boston-based anti-prison organizer with Families for Justice as Healing and the National Council of Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls about how Massachusetts' COVID-19 response is impacting incarcerated people. Massachusetts has been very slow um, in dealing with the COVID um, 19 other other states are um moving more quickly releasing more people um i think la released like 1700 people in the first week and um massachusetts as the sjc put out a ruling that you have to write a motion and you have to show um, that your your client is sick or elderly, um, but the courts are shut down and they're not really um, taking cases like that quickly. So it's very a slow moving process. There are people in like four, eight people in one cell and like Three people are infected in their beds and they're sleeping like right on top of each other in a bunk or or in close proximity and um, the videos have shown them coughing and the nurse came around and told them oh half of you guys are not going to make it out of here um, and there's nothing we can do and they had a makeshift um, tent in the basketball court um, which uh, the prisoners said that they, they were putting bodies, people's bodies in there. It was a larger number than, than I expected that came out today. We had over 40 cars with people in them that came by for the car protest. And it 
honestly, I was overwhelmed um, emotionally. I've been incarcerated, like I said, and I've always, you know, been voiceless, but we gave women inside power. We gave them hope, you know, and to me, that's a lot.